off traffic. So that's a two off a hotel taking off runway one three for a left downwind departure and off. And your uh, right side, Kevin Windows, closed and locked. Oh, good. Like crosswind, so a little bit of left either on for now. Left either oh, on for that. Down, there right you go. The wind. There we go. Okay, here we go. Oh, here we go. Good. Nice takeoff. Very nice. Got right rudder, and those is kind of yawing off left. There you yeah, go. I felt Good. That, correct. That. that looks like a pitch is going to work for the stall. Here comes the yaw. You're stopping it with either on by mistake. And there's the stall. Rudder's available. Perfect rudder, perfect back back pressure reduction, perfect recovery. Okay, out of control, out of control. Clearing turn is going to demonstrate this same thing you just did, but just a little bit. Only change I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same standby rudder, but then as it stalls, I'm just going to freak out momentarily with the uh, with the nose drop, and I'm okay. going to put in some back pressure rapidly, so if the nose drops rapidly, I'm going to bring in back pressure rapidly, and then I'm going to recover. Oh. So here we go. So area was clear. Hands on my throttle, because I know what I might have to do with the throttle. So standing by with the rudder. Yep. Here comes a pitch up. I'm going to panic at the stall and pull that wheel back. Panic of the stall. I'm going to panic. What the hell is this? Panic of the stall. Whoa, what's going on? Power. Aileron's rudder. Work my back pressure. Note the airspeed build up. Never got above 100 or so. Nose is up. Power back in. So that was a uh, quarter turn spin. So we'll have you do the same. Power looks good. Oh. Area was cleared in my turn just then. We'll have you try it. So climb the right hand go. turn. Stand by rudder at the stall. As the nose drops, you're going to panic and pull that wheel all the way back. And then, oh shoot, then it recover. Standing by on the rudder, hands on the throttle because you're probably going to need that. There you go, nose coming up like you're climbing out of the pattern. You don't hear the stall warning because you're an idiot. Here comes the stall. You go, oh crap, I panic. Whoa, you realize it? Big rudder in there. Good. Nose coming back up. Release the rudder. Release the rudder now. There you go. Nose is back up. Power to cruise. Perfect. That was nice. Oh. I have control. Yeah, control. And so only comment on that would be uh, you put in that big rudder okay. to, in essence to stop the rotation, but uh, you don't want to keep it in there because now you're going to be swinging the wing around the other way, and now you potentially can stall out the other wing, and now you're going to be in a stall or a spin gotcha. in that direction. Nice. Next, we're going to make it uh, worse again. Okay. Because I'm doing my Claren turn here. Uh, same climbing right hand turn, standby rudder. As it stalls, I'm going to both pull the wheel back, and as it rolls, what do you suppose I'm going to do with the wheel? Opposite way. Roll it in to the right, just the wrong thing. What's what you suppose that's going to do with the wing? it even further. There you go. So it's going to make it even worse. And then we're going to recover and then power, ailerons, running. You know the deal. Here we go. So the area looks clear. Here's my power set. Climbing right hand turn. Here's my standby rudder. And as it stalls, I'm going to panic both by wheel pitch and by aileron. Nose is coming up. I don't recognize that stall warning. Here it stalls. Whoa, get that aileron in. Whoa, see that? I have see that rotation? Boom. Get rid of that aileron. She comes up. We got an airspeed of above about 100 or so. Airspeed's dropping off. Power back up. But you notice how the airplane goes, yeah. you feel that kind of that yep. buffeting? That's what's really giving you the indication that left wing is stalling, and that's that true auto rotation coming in. So. Yep. Doing the same thing that we're going to do in a few minutes of the classic. I'm going to make a turn this way. 
don't want to be over these hills. Uh, the sa that's doing the same thing as the classic spin entry. Okay. But we're doing it all by letting the aerodynamics work against us. So instead of you put in your full rudder like you're going to do in a few minutes, that aileron and the standby rudder and the power, those three evils yep. at the stall are doing the same thing to make the stall go into the spin. You have control? I we'll have try control. that one. So climbing right turn, standing by with uh, rudder at the stall, big back pressure, big aileron in the wrong directions. Looking good. We're looking good. Pitch is coming up out of control because you don't know anything. Don't hear the stall warning. Here comes the stall. And you pin the wheel. You pin the aileron. What the heck's going on here? Whoa. Perfect recovery. Great pitch. Work that back pressure a little faster with it. A little faster. There you go. There's the 2G pull right there. Power comes in. So feel that 2G's actually has about a G and a half. Okay. That's the pull that we want to get. Another clearing turn that way. That's the uh, that's the pull we want to get that uh, prevents that excessive altitude loss and airspeed loss. Yep. As you're pinning that aileron, you're releasing the wheel a little bit. Oh wow! Okay. You're just kind you're just kind of letting it come out of the stall or coming out of the spin recovery all by itself. So if you can try to remember, as you bring that wheel back, like we do a control check, try to look for the corner. Okay. We're just going to look for that aileron at the corner. In the, in the wheel or the aft wheel to the corner and try to hold that till you're ready for the recovery. Roger. You have control. I have control. Uh, we'll try another one to the right. Standby rudder. There you go. Right climb and turn out of the pattern. You're over pitching because you're over pitching. You don't hear the stall warning. And when it pitches, you panic and it rolls, you panic. There we go. We panic. Whoa. Perfect. Nice. Great recovery. Perfect G on the pullout. Although I could kind of feel myself release just a little bit of back yep, pressure. You did. You did. You did quite hold it there. Yeah. That's okay. Okay. I have control. Gotcha. Okay. So now we're going to do a couple of the classics. So the classics meaning uh, we'll do straight ahead. Uh, we'll keep uh, proper rudders. We'll be on the rudders the whole time. As we get the stall warning to the stall, what, do you, what am I going to do? I'm going to power idle. I'm going to pitch the wheel full aft to the stop. Ho keyword, hold it on the stop. Bring in full left rudder on the stop. Keyword, hold it on the stop until yep. I'm ready for recovery. So on my recovery, my P and the A is already taken care of because gotcha. I already have the powered idle and I already have my either on's neutral. So all I have to do is run my rudders and run by back pressure or elevator. Area looks pretty good. Here we go. So good rudders. Wish I had a cloud out there to aim for. As I get the stall, power idle, pin the wheel, and pin the rudder. Here we go. So power's to idle, pin the wheel, bend the rudder, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, half turn, hold it, hold it, recover. Watch that G, watch that airspeed, watch that G, watch that airspeed, watch that G. There's two G's, 115 knots. Yep. And that was a little over a half a turn. So I started that wow. way, ended up okay. that way. So that was probably a 70% a turn, something like that. So these are, to me, more of a yeah, circus trick kind of thing. You ever got something like this low next to the ground where we're goners? But yeah. just good to be able to do it. So the key to it is you got to hold the two pins to the pin. I mean, you got to hold the rudder pinned full, and nope. you got to hold the wheel pinned full until you're ready for the recovery. For, okay. Yes, go ahead. for about sorry. half a turn, right? You just... Yeah, about half a turn. Okay. That's because you'll see in a minute we can't really get much more than that. But gotcha. You have control. I have control. So we'll give that one a shot. A wings level, good, uh, good rudder available. As the stall warning comes on, power to idle. Smoothly pin the wheel and smoothly pin the rudder. There we go. So pin them both. There's the entry. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, recover. Good, good. Get that nose up. Coming up. Two cheese, 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 two cheese. And power to cruise because the airspeed's a cruise. 
I have control. Have control. So about 130 knots. Okay. So uh, that's Too a little, little faster than we want. Yeah. Mainly because as we're holding, see all these other spins entries we've been doing up to now have been, uh, you know, do the panic thing. Oh, then realize it and recover. Here we're holding it in. So because we're holding it in pro spin the whole time, the pitch is coming down lower. Uh, I didn't see what the pitch was, but it's probably up in the 60s, oh yeah, yeah. the 70 down pitch. So that means when you start to recover, the airplane's so much more pointed down, so it really builds that airspeed fast. Okay. So once that, uh, once you have that recovery going, you say, I gotta get that pitch up. I can't, so we gotta set that 2G as fast as we can okay. Uh, okay. to prevent the airspeed to overbuild. You have control. I have control. Okay, nose coming up, standing by for idle, standing by for a wheel and elevator on the stops. There we go, hold it, good, hold it, 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 recover. Good. Good. Two G's, two G's, pull, pull, pull. Good, 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 good. And power back in. That was a thousand foot. Yeah, it was a little bit better. Still a little fast, though. Yeah, still got the speed, but so that's a thousand foot loss right there. That's no so, good. Yeah. That's no good. So, so those are all half turn spins. You get, uh, you know, anywhere near the ground. And the other thing that we always forget about: what about that ground rush? What oh, yeah. about what it's going to look like at 500 feet? You panic. pitch down, you're going to be panicked. Oh, yeah. uh, I saw about 70 degrees down uh, nose low pitch that time. Wow. So okay. it's pretty darn low. Okay, so. Uh, I have control. have control. So this one, uh, we'll, all we're going to do is the same thing. We're going to try to see how long uh, the old 172 can stay in the spin. So I've been calling out for that recovery at about a half a turn. We'll just kind of see what happens and uh, see if the airplane will s continue spinning with all the pro rudder and pro full aft wheel uh, and see if it tries to come out by itself or not. Yeah, Cessna's too good at this. Uh, old uh, Clyde did a good job, I was oh, going to yeah. say. Clyde did a good job. So these are basically, these are all incipient. They're just, the this, this spin is just still trying to get itself established. And we'll just kind of see what happens. So you have control. I have control. And we'll try the same, except we're just going to try to stay in the spin a little bit longer. Just looking good. Standing by for the stall. And there's the power, there's the wheel, there's the rudder. You hold it, 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 and recover. And power to cruise. Oh, what do you notice different on that? I don't know, it kind of... I don't know, it was weird. Yeah, it was weird. it was weird, it was weird. It was different. It was different. So after about a half to three quarters of a turn, whoa! Two things happen. The rotation rate picked up and the pitch dropped down. Yeah. So this okay. is now going into the more steady state of the spin. Um, I'm about done. If you want to do some more, you can, but I've, I think we've seen everything you need to see. Okay. You're, you know, ace of the base on these. Looking real nice. Cool. Any questions or anything else you want to play with? No. It's let's, all good. Let's head on home. Cool. Very good. Keep it coming around. Power back. Pitch down. Power back. Pitch down. Pitch down. Pitch down. Power back. Pitch, pitch not down. Available. Thank you, Betty. Pitch down. Good. Landing checklist. Make sure set. Flaps to zero. Landing checklist is complete. No radio call. Just fly. Fly, 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 fly. Gotcha. We're all over the place. We don't need to be talking. We need to try to control this airplane. So super high on the path. Super high on the speed, so power back a bit. Stay with your trim. Nice. Which is good. Path is decent. Speed is decent. Let's not start pumping that either on again. We get some bumps right here as we come up to short final. Power's going to idle. There you go. Standing by for pitch level. Nice, nice. Pitch a little slightly higher. Slightly nose high for touchdown. Keep that nose slightly high for touchdown. Oh, a little bit of a balloon. Let it settle back down. And big flare. That nose will clear. 
Fuck, see over the nose. You got to see over the nose. Don't get it so high you can't see over the nose. Good, good, good. We don't care about the beeps. We just concentrate on aircraft control. Engine can blow up in a thousand pieces. We don't care. Break check. Make sure they're going to work. Nice. Good. That back pressure in there. Nice speed right on around the big U-turn here. Off the runway, let go of the wheel, gets a disconnect. Keep that turn coming around around. Air conditioner on would be nice. There you go. And it'll come to a complete stop.